Hey, today we are in Goldmark 7 and I'm going to show you how to disable the start-stop system uh, with uh, OBD11. So there are two ways that we can do this, do this with coding. Sadly, there's no way to just invert the functionality of this button, so it's uh, off by default. All we can do is disable the system altogether. Um, Start-stop system checks various parameters of your car to check if the feature should be working. So it checks uh, it checks if your battery is not drained, if the temperature is right, and by check uh, by changing parameters that uh, the system is looking for, uh, for example, making them out of range, the system will be permanently off. So this is what we are going to do today. Over here I have OBD11 already connected to the car and I'm looking at the modules list and we are looking for module number 19 which is gateway. So let's go over here and in gain, uh, gateway we are going to enter adaptation and there are as I said two methods of doing this. Uh, there are two parameters that we can adjust to make the system um, to be disabled. Okay, let's go to adaptation, and we are going for we are going for mm, uh, for the search option, and let's just type start, and we have start stop uh, voltage limit, and we have uh, start stop requirement ambient temperature. So let's do it by the temperature method. If we go over here, we have two values, the minimum and the maximum temperature. It's set to minus 50 degrees in both cases. And if we set it to the plus 50, and this as well, plus 50, and save the value by press and hold over here, we get the function not available. So this method is not working for us sadly but in your car it might work it's it's worth the try so let's check the uh, okay it's set back to the default so let's check the other way start stop voltage limit it's set to 7.6 volts and if we increase this to uh, let's say 12 okay store it adaptation was um, accepted right now the start stop system should not work anymore so let's disconnect from the car let's turn the engine on and the start stop button is not pressed it's not lit and in about a few seconds we should see a warning sign over here that start stop is not working anymore because the voltage was checked and it was less than 12 volts when the when the engine was cranked or at some other point when the diagnosis is performed we can also go over here start stop system power consumption is high and the driver's seat belt is not fastened so let's let me just put my seatbelt on. Okay, one warning is out. And maybe let's take the car for a short drive to, to check. Okay, back to the car. I'm uh, uh, just uh, ending my quick spin. And don't mind the check engine light. It's a glow plug. It's not related to the start-stop system. Uh, start-stop system worked with this uh, fault, so uh, don't mind that. Over here, we can still see the power consumption is high. Warning. So I believe this is the this is the warning that will be here all the time. Um, uh, idle engine speed is 800 rpm, and we can see the notification right now over here and the button is not pressed so this method works for uh, for me as i said um, there's uh, the other one all the details are in the description below this video give me thumbs up if you like this simple tutorial and also check my other videos for more interesting stuff that you can do with your car not only golf but other cars as well okay see you soon